essential training series for architects. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about rendering scenes and producing output images. We will start with rendering a single image from the scene. Click Real-Time Rendering. Once you are satisfied with the image quality, click on Capture Image. Name the image to be saved. Choose the type for the image. You can save it as a PNG image, which is used commonly for the ability to conserve all data in the image along with the alpha or JPEG. Also, you can use the option PNG without background. Save this image without the background. Save another image with the background. Open the image with no background. To see it has all the rendered elements in it, except for the sky, which was replaced with an alpha value. This could be useful to add a different sky or background in compositing software afterwards. The second image has a sky as a background. The saved image has the same size of the 3D area view in SimLab Composer, Cancel the real-time rendering and click on Fixed Rendering. Notice that the resolution of the image being rendered is not related to the size of my 3D area, but rather is set to 1280 by 720. Click on Output Image under Rendering to change the resolution. You can select the image's size from the drop-down menu or click Custom and set the width and height to a value of your choice. Set this to Full HD. Render the scene using the Fixed Renderer. Although the displayed size in the 3D area didn't change, the image size has changed to Full HD. Capture the image and save it. As you can see, the image has the bigger resolution of 1920 by 1080. Another method for rendering and saving is to use Render to File. Go to Output Image, where you can set the samples per pixel for the image. I'm going to set it to 100 for this example, and the name and location for the saved image. Click Render to File. Notice how the render will stop at the 100 SPP. An image file was created with the settings chosen. I will go to the directory and open the file. In the output image window, open the folder containing the output image once the rendering is complete. You can also set the image format to JPEG, PNG, or PNG without background, similar to the settings used when capturing an image. Create a camera animation as explained in the previous tutorial, so we can talk about rendering an animation sequence. In this example, I created a camera animation of 30 frames. 
I will click play for you to see it. Click all frames to render all the frames in your scene. The animation renderer will use the settings from the output images. In this case, it will render each frame to 100 samples per pixel, with each frame having the size of full HD, and the images will have the type of PNG without background. You can also control the starting frame and ending frame for animation rendering. Click Render Animation to begin rendering the frames you choose. The settings in the Output Image tab will be used. The last rendering technique is used when you need to render a large sequence of images using multiple computers. Click on Distribute Package. The Distribute Render Animation settings will appear. In this window, specify the frame range you need to render. Set the number of machines you are going to use to render the sequence to 4. Select the folder where you want to create the rendering package. Name the rendering package. Click the Open Containing folder after generating the rendering packages. Generate the packages. Once the process is complete, the designated folder will open up. You can see four packages. Since we set the number of machines in the Distribute Settings window to four, each file has unique frames assigned to it. The first one has the frames from 0 to 7. The second file has the frames from 18 to 15 and so on. To render those packages created, click on Render Package. In the Render Package window, select the package you need to render. Select the file and click Open. SimLab Composer will display the number of frames assigned to this package and under the description along with the renderer name. Set the path where you need your image sequence to be saved. And click Start Rendering. Composer will ask you if you need to save the current open scene before opening the package. The rendering is complete, and we have an image sequence of the animation we created. Click on the Animation Workbench and go to Video. Click on Movie Maker. The Movie Maker will turn your sequence of rendered images into a movie file. It already has the last directory where you rendered your images, but in case you need to select a different sequence or you rendered the images on a different machine, click Browse to select the Images folder. You can add multiple folders and be able to arrange them using the arrows. You can also add an audio file to play with the animation. Select the quality of the video output the video size, format, and output folder in this window. Go to the output path and play the movie file that was created. 